Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Maximum Automation. As we know that Selenium has introduced the latest version of it called Selenium 4. And in Selenium 4, new locators have been introduced to locate the elements on the web page. These locators are being called as relative locators and were previously called as friendly locators. Relative locators are helpful when we don't have any property or unique attribute to an element so that we can construct the locator for the desired element. When we cannot construct a locator for those elements, then we can use a relative locator to locate the desired element. So using relative locator, we use to locate those elements with the help of other locators on the page. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss how to use relative locators to locate the elements on a web page. Here I have this piece of code where I have created the object of the Chrome driver. And then with the help of driver object, I'm navigating to the Amazon web page. So I'm going to locate the elements available on Amazon web page by using the relative locators. Now let's move to the application. So this is the Amazon web page. And to locate the element on the page, let me first open the dev tool. Now let's say if I want to click on any of these elements here. And if I try to locate this element, having the text as today's deals. You can see that this element don't have any ID associated. Though we can see that there are multiple attributes associated with it. But we are not sure whether the values for these attributes are static or going to change every time we browse to the application. So let's assume that we don't have any unique or static property to locate this element. The only thing we know that this element has an anchor tag. Now, if I inspect this element here, then you can see that this element also has an anchor tag, but we can see it has a unique ID associated with it. So it is really easy to locate this element with this ID value. Now, because we have one element which we can find easily with the ID locator, but our desired element don't have any property to locate. But we know that our desired element is placed next to this element, which is easy to locate. So with the help of this locator, I can find my desired element. And the locator I'm going to use in this case is a relative locator. So let's see how we can use the relative locator in Selenium 4. First of all, I'm going to create an object of iWeb element, which is going to store my element, which has a unique ID associated with it. So I'm using the driver dot find element with locator by dot ID. And then I'll copy the ID of the element. and we'll paste it over here. So this object will contain the hamburger menu element. But my desired element on which I want to click is this today's deals. And I can see my desired element is placed right to the hamburger menu element. So with the help of this element, I'm going to locate my desired element. Now to find my element, what I can do is I can type driver dot find element. And then in the find element method, I need to use the relative locator to locate the element. To get the syntax of how to use the relative locators in different languages, you can always go to the Selenium documentation page for locators. 
here if you move down into this page then you can find the information on relative locators and then here you can see the syntax to be used for relative locators in different languages you can see that this is the syntax you can use in java for relative locators and this one you need to use in c sharp to locate the element here we can see the change in method name among different languages in java the class name is called as relative locator while in c sharp we have the class name relative by and in java we need to use relative locator dot with method while in c sharp we need to use relative by dot with locator similarly you can find the different syntaxes for different languages now let's go back to the code and inside the find element method i can type relative by dot with locator and inside the with locator method i can pass the by object using the tag name because we are assuming that we don't have any unique property like id name or class name to find the element so even if you don't have any unique property associated with your element but you will always find a tag associated with it as we know that the element which i need to find has an anchor tag so i can pass the tag as a and after that i can use the method write off because i need to find my desired element which is placed at the right of another element which i am able to successfully locate and then with the write off method i can pass this element so here what it mean is that i want to find an element with the help of a relative locator and the locator which i want to find is has an anchor tag and is placed at the right of this element and then i can also perform the operation on the element here we have the overloaded version of this write off method where one can take the input as a web element object and the other one can take the input as a by object so here i can also provide the by object directly inside this method now let me run my test to see if it works here the execution has started and you can see it clicked on the today's deal element which we found with the help of this element now let's say the next element which i want to locate is this sign in element and again let's assume that this sign in element doesn't have any unique property associated with it and it's not easy to create the locator for this element but let's say this element returns and orders does have the unique id associated so i can find my desired sign in element with the help of this return and order element because my sign in element is placed at the left of return and order so this time i can use the left of relative locator to find the desired element let me copy this id value navigation hyphen order and let's say now i want to find an element which is relative to the locator and the element which i want to locate is again having the tag as anchor tag and the element is located to the left of another element which is having the unique id value as nav hyphen orders 
and I want to click on this element as well. Here also, I have passed the by object instead of web element. So you can pass either web element or by object. This time, let me pass the web element object here just to show that it doesn't going to make any difference. And now, if I run my test again, so the execution has started. You can see it clicked on today's deals first. And then it clicked on the sign in option. So I've shown you how to use the right off and left off locator. Now, the other relative locators which you can use are above and below. So let's say if I click on this sign in option here. Then we have this sign in page where we have this email ID text box and this continue button. And let's assume that we don't have any unique ID or attribute associated with this email text box. Then we can locate this element with relative to other element on the page. And here in this page, let's say this continue button has a unique ID. And with the help of this continue button, I can find my desired element because my desired element is located above this continue button. And similarly, let's say if I don't have any unique ID associated with this continue button, but we do have the ID available with this email text box, then I can locate this continue button with the help of email text box because this continue button is located below the email text box and both the elements are of type input tag so let's see how to locate both the elements with the help of each other or with relative to each other here i can again type driver dot find element relative by with locator by dot tag name and the tag name of the element is input first i'm going to find the email text box which is located above the element which has the id associated with continue and because it's a text box so let me put some text into it test at the rate gmail.com after that let me copy the statement and this time also the element which i want to locate is of type input tag now i want to locate my element with the help of this email text box so the id for this element is available here and the element which i want to locate contains input tag so i want to find the element continue button which contains the input tag with the help of other element which has the unique id available as app underscore email and the desired element is located below to this email text box and i want to click on this continue button Now let me run the test again. So here in this example, I'm not clicking or performing any operation on the element by locating them directly using regular locators. But instead of using regular locator, I'm locating the element with the help of relative locators, which are placed next to the desired elements. You can see it clicked on today's deal first. And then it clicked on the sign in option. Here it entered the text in the email text box and clicked on the continue button. So this is how you can use the relative locators 
to find your elements and using the relative locators you can not only find a single element but you can also find the list of all the elements which are placed at the right of left of or above the specified element in that case you can use find elements instead of find element method and this find elements will return the collection of all the elements found relative to the specified element if you ask me how well these relative locators perform then i personally feel that creating a relative xpath is a quite better approach than using the relative locators because i have observed that when you have a change in the resolution of your screen then these locators behave differently so if you don't have any resolution issues then these locators can be helpful for you please try and let me know how do you feel using these locators instead of xpath i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you